Carolina is one of just two states where abortion is permitted past six weeks, bringing in women from neighboring states that can't access services there. Now, to be successful, she'll need to draw from around 60 percent of white women voters who previously supported Donald Trump in 2020. But there's a looming question, the impact of Hurricane Helene, which hit hard here in September. How voters feel that President Biden handled that disaster could end up influencing whether they would trust a Harris administration. Helena Humphrey, who's outside Donald Trump's estate at Mar-a-Lago in Florida. And Helena, will Mr. Trump's phone be glued to his ear, taking all these calls from world leaders and then having to find uh, people to work with him here at uh, the White House? I should definitely expect so. Of course, the nation has picked its president, and now that president-elect, as you mentioned, has that job, the transition of power, also naming those staff picks in the coming days. I sent their congratulations, perhaps they're the concern that that could include compromises on their territorial integrity. Helena, thank you very much. Outside Donald Trump's estate in Florida. Hi, Helena. What are you hearing there? Well, certainly it's a sense of being a divided nation, I think it's fair to say, here in the United States, because, of course, shock, upset for some people. But, of course, so for example, that he has significantly grown his base since 2016, seeing a far larger support uh, part of this uh, vote going to uh, young going to, from young Latinos, young African-American voters, for example. So certainly among Donald Trump supporters, uh, they are, of course, happy at this result. And we will be waiting to see more in terms of from Donald Trump, more mood music about indications to who will be in his cabinet. Uh, RFK Jr., for example, will Elon Musk as well have a role? Helena, thank you very much indeed. We're going on there behind closed doors. Well, John, of course, we are here in Florida. This is where Donald Trump delivered that victory speech. But he's heading your way, of course. He's heading to Washington, D.C., where he will meet with President Biden, as is Trudy, who has spread health misinformation. And then potentially, could we see Marco Rubio, the Florida senator, someone who said that he does not support further funding to Ukraine? So a lot of work to be done, a lot of questions still looming. Helena, for now, and straight into preparing for government. Absolutely. We already have had a statement from the Trump advance transition team saying that they are working on those campaign pledges to put them into place from day one. Donald Trump, RFK Jr., of course, the presidential candidate who then backed Donald Trump. Uh, he is someone who has espoused conspiracy theories. He is a vaccine skeptic. He has spread misinformation about HIV and AIDS. But Donald Trump has said he could have a role in the health agency. And then also potentially for U.S. Secretary of State. Could it be Marco Rubio, the Florida senator, who has said that he supports less funding for Ukraine? Just 74 days to go, of course, before Donald Trump once again returns to the White House. Helena, thank you very much. Now, Hel Helena, good morning to you. Of course, this is Donald Trump makes plans about the future, but knowing that these um, plans were in place, I wonder what impact that's likely to have. Mm -hmm. Well, certainly, I think the mood music here in Mar-a-Lago is one of confidence. Yes, of course, there are the extraordinary circumstances, the backdrop to all of this, of course, those two assassination attempts that Samira was just mentioning there in her report, but also on the campaign trail during speeches. We heard comments from the president-elect Donald Trump speaking about Iran. For us.